and protect from. Be my protector, O oh God, a mighty stronghold to save me. For you are my rock, my stronghold. Lead me, guide me, for the sake of your name. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord. Amen. Show us, O Lord, your mercy. Amen. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who teach us that you abide in hearts that are just and true. Grant that we may be so fashioned by your grace as to become a dwelling to please you to you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. <coughs> A reading from the letter of St. James. Not many of you should become teachers, my brothers and sisters. For you realize that we will be judged more strictly, for we fall short in many respects. If anyone does not fall short in speech, he is a perfect man, able to bridle the whole body also. If we put bits into the mouths of horses to make them obey us, we also guide their whole bodies. It is the same with ships. Even though they are so large and driven by fierce winds, they are steered by a very small rudder wherever the pilot's inclination wishes. In the same way, the tongue is a small member and yet has great pretensions. Consider how small a fire can set a huge forest ablaze. The tongue is also a fire. It exists among our neighbors as a, word of, as a world of malice, defiling the whole body and setting the entire course of our lives on fire, itself on fire by again. For every kind of beast and bird, of reptile and sea creature, can be tamed and has been tamed by the human species, but no man can tame the tongue. It is a restless evil, full of deadly poison. With it we bless the Lord and Father, and with it we curse men who are made in the likeness of God. From the same mouth come blessing and cursing. My brothers and sisters, this need not be so. The word of the Lord. Our responsorial song. You will protect us, Lord. You will protect us, Lord. Help, O Lord, for no one now is beautiful. Faithfulness has vanished from among the children of men. Everyone speaks falsehood to his neighbor. With smooth lips they speak, and double heart. May the Lord destroy all smooth lips, every boastful tongue. Those who say we are heroes with our tongues, our lips are our own. Who is Lord over us? The promises of the Lord are sure, like tried silver, free from dross, sevenfold refined. You, O Lord, will keep us and preserve us always from this generation. You will protect us, Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The heavens were opened and the voice of the Father thundered. This is my beloved Son. Listen to him. Hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you. Lord. 
Jesus took Peter, James, and John and led them up a high mountain apart by themselves. He was transfigured before them. And his clothes became dazzling white, such as no full on earth could bleach them. Then Elijah appeared to them along with Moses, and they were conversing with Jesus. Then Peter said to Jesus in reply, Rabbi, it is good that we are here. Let us make three tents, one for you, one for Moses, and one for Elijah. He hardly knew what to say, they were so terrified. Then a cloud came, casting a shadow over them. Then from the cloud came a voice, This is my beloved son, listen to him. Suddenly, looking around, the disciples no longer saw anyone but Jesus alone with them. As they were coming down from the mountain, he charged them not to relate what they had seen to anyone, except when the Son of Man had risen from the dead. So they kept the matter to themselves, questioning what rising from the dead meant. Then they asked him, Why did the scribes say that Elijah must come first? He told them, Elijah will indeed come first restore all things. Yet how is it written regarding the Son of Man that he must suffer greatly and be treated with contempt? But I tell you that Elijah has come, and they did not to him as they did to him whatever they pleased as it is written of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Yesterday, as I was coming back from Montgomery, Alabama, uh, visiting a retired priest, speaking on the phone with a cousin of mine, he was asking about if I had seen something on the news. Not, not driving, no, obviously not. But uh, getting back home last night, turning on the news, the, the question was of uh, our friends from the north, Canada, Justin Trudeau. And it applied to today's first reading from the book of James. For Trudeau, in referring to a Jewish uh, descendant, an MP, uh, basically associated her with standing. If you want to stand with the truckers, you stand with the swastika waivers and the Confederate flag waivers. The woman whose ancestors, some died in the Holocaust, uh, was uh, greatly taken back by that, demanding an apology, which I would be shocked if one really comes. But this is not about Justin Trudeau. This is about language, words, that St. James, who wrote that first reading, that letter, all before the year 100 AD, it's written, uh, passed around so people could start reading it. And James acknowledges one thing, that we can use words and language in a very powerful way. We have all experienced the joy, the pleasure, the love that people have bestowed upon us in words and language. How in some of the terrible moments of our lives, it might have been just the words of counsel, the words of I love you, I am with you, I support you, which may, might have made the difference for us to go on and to persevere with whatever we were dealing with. And now, whether we be at fault or we see the faults of others on display. People use words to destroy. They use words to harm. And they manage to go to all the worst words that you could possibly call someone. The worst of humanity to insult. And James spoke about that. Back then about how words have meaning. Words could be harmful. You remember just a few days ago, James, in fact, I was here Wednesday, was at this pulpit, when James spoke to us in that first chapter of his letter saying, 
Be quick to listen and slow to speak. For James, new humanity doesn't change. We're always quick to add our own thoughts, our own opinions. And in many instances, when they're neither warranted or informed, but we are so quick to jump in and say, but let me tell you what I think. I laugh at myself. I'm going to tell one on myself here. When I was a new priest in the first four years of ordination, still an assistant, and I'm discussing with a, a senior priest about the life of the, doc, the priesthood in the diocese. And if only, aha, if only the Archbishop would listen to me, then things would run smoothly, for I knew. A few years later, we get a new Archbishop who says, okay, Father Sosia and the vicar for clergy, and I'm brought in on some of the more uh, intimate knowledge of the diocese, which I had not been privy to when I was a younger priest. Then you realize, whoops, yeah, I was speaking and I had no idea what I was talking about, but I was speaking in a very definitive way, like I knew, but God, how stupid, how foolish I was. For I did not know what was going on. I did not have full knowledge. But yet we continue and continue and continue to do that. And even when we try to control our tongues, we're subjected to the awful diabolical media, which portrays images across that television or that computer screen or our cell phone. Images only meant to stir us back up into the my clan, your clan, my tribe, your tribe mentality. And for that, if you would go back and read book seven of Plato's Republic, the allegory of the cave, you would understand, wow, a lot of what's going on today. For those of you who are younger, just read, uh, just watch the Matrix movie, and you'll understand it. It's loosely based off the allegory of the cave. But in all these things, we have to go back to what James said in his first chapter, which we heard on Wednesday. Be quick to listen and slow to speak. We must listen to all people. We don't have to agree with them, but we should be able to give an open ear because in doing so, we might find that one kernel of knowledge that can help us develop as better people, as better individuals. We must be slow to speak or to type on the computer. But that's equally as bad. James didn't have to worry about that back in his day. We do. So be quick not to type. In fact, turn your computer off when you get upset and just go for a walk, pray the rosary. Then come back. But take time to stop. We're filled with so much hatred, divisive words, language, rhetoric. So many uh, scenes that cause so many emotions. Let us take one massive step back from all of that and say, as we're told from the New Testament, let us say only the good things we need to hear. Words of praise, words of adulation, words of accomplishment and love. Let us build up society by first building up our local community, our family. And then are moving to our local parishes. Let us say good things. Let us treat people with respect and dignity. We do that. We will go to bed at night. We'll lay our head on our pillow. And we will feel no regret. No shame. We will not.
not be in league with Lucifer, who wants us to be divisive, who will be united in Jesus. Christian men and women, one family, with Christ our head, we his body. May Almighty God be with you. May he bless you. The Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. Coming together as one family and faith, let us offer to God our prayers and our needs. We pray for Holy Father, for Archbishop, for all priests, religious brothers, sisters, permanent deacons, seminary to praise the Lord. Oh, yeah. We pray for those who are sick or suffering in any way this day, and those who care for them. We pray to the Lord. Oh, yeah. We pray for all those involved in the news media in any fashion especially those who purposefully try to divide us, the family of God. Let us pray for their conversion and for us to be able to forgive with sincere hearts. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for the repose of the soul of Martin Adams, for whom this Mass is being offered this morning. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray for our brothers and sisters who watch this Mass on video, and for you, our brothers and sisters present in our church today. <clears throat> for all of you from this one family of God, we pray to the Lord. No, Lord yeah, okay. Offering all our prayers to the Father, let us conclude with a prayer of praise in honor of the Blessed Trinity. Glory, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work with human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of this season. May the Lord accept May this oblation, O Lord, we pray, cleanse and renew us. And may it become for those who do your will the source of eternal reward. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father most holy. Through your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, your word that we made all things, and we sent to our Savior and Redeemer. Incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining to you, holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glories with one voice, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Holy God of hosts, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Holy God of hosts. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the Father of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these two, and pray that we can have the Spirit upon them, like the new God, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, he entered willingly into his passion. He took bread, and giving thanks for it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, 
Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from me. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior, 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 Savior. Provide the cross and the you us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Give me thanks that you have found us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Thomas, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all that have died in mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. At the same command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our oh Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our sins, as we forgive those who trespass against us. For we are not in temptation, but deliver us. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil, graciously grant peace in our days, and that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress. So we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom of God and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, and not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take the grace into the world. Lamb of God, you take the grace into the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take the grace into the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. For all our time, I am not worthy that you should enter on the rock. But only say the word, and my soul shall be They ate and had their fill, and what they prayed, the Lord gave them. They were not disappointed in what they prayed.
Let us pray. Having fed upon these heavenly delights, we pray, O Lord, that we may always long for that food by which we truly live through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to Prayer to St. Michael. Holy Mother, we love the forgiveness of God. Be our protection against the wickedness of Satan and the devil. May God rebuke him when we humbly pray. And you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, rush into the devils, Satan, and all the other evil spirits who wander through the world seeking to ruin the souls. Amen. The divine praise protection against storms, hurricanes, and other disasters. Blessed be God. Blessed be the Lord. Blessed be Jesus Christ, the God of the human. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be the most great God. Blessed be the most great God. Blessed be Jesus, the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the character. Blessed be the great mother of God, Mary, the most holy. Blessed be the only and after deception. Blessed be the glorious assumption. Blessed be the name of the Mary, the virgin mother. Blessed be the Son of the Most Blessed be God, the Son of the Most Blessed be the Son of the Most